If you stop to take a look at your surroundings, chances are you will find at least something worth exploring in more depth. The world around us is full of unknowns and mysteries just waiting to be discovered. If you are anything like us, you are always looking for the latest strange phenomena or discovery. We have covered a little bit of everything from bizarre archaeological discoveries to theories about extraterrestrials and unusual plants and creatures. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we're taking a look at three different, strange and recent scientific discoveries that have the potential to turn the world on its head. Fungi found in Chernobyl feeds on radiation Scientists in Russia have discovered a type of fungi in Chernobyl that uses the process of radiosynthesis to feed on the area's radiation. This fungus, now identified as Cladosporium spherospermum, has been found to block harmful radiation and use melanin to convert gamma radiation into chemical energy. In the future, scientists are interested in using this fungus to help protect astronauts from radiation in space by creating a radiation-absorbing shield layer from it. The fungus was first discovered in 1991, though at the time, scientists did not fully understand its radiation-blocking and converting properties. In addition to its potential use as anti-radioactive shielding material, NASA scientists are considering extracting melanin from the fungus to develop a space-approved sunscreen. According to Redimez J.B. Cadero, a researcher at Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, we know that space radiation is dangerous and that it damages matter. If you have a material that can act as a shield against radiation, it could not only protect people and structures in space, but also have very real benefits for people here on Earth. This fungus grows toward the hottest and most radioactive places, so its existence near Chernobyl is not a surprise. At Chernobyl, extreme ambient radiation still poses a huge danger to anyone who enters to this day. With this in mind, it is easy to see the advantages of having a radiation blocker to treat protective suits and reduce the ambient radiation through radiosynthesis. Even low levels of radiation, when contained, could be converted into safer, more useful renewable energy. On the International Space Station, the ambient radiation is lower compared to other parts of space, but it is higher than the levels found on Earth and therefore poses a threat to everyone on board. This fungus could help protect those living and working on the ISS and could lead to further discoveries of applications in medicine, safety and manufacturing. We've detected the closest extragalactic FRB yet. Have we found the closest extragalactic fast radio burst? Astronomers think so. Better yet, it appears to have come from a surprising location. FRBs are powerful, brief emissions of light that come from unknown sources. It is only for the last two decades that we have known they have existed. So many questions about them have yet to be answered, but scientists now know that the closest FRB comes from a different galaxy than ours, and it is only 11.7 million light-years from Earth. Dr. Brian Gainsler, director of the Dunlap Institute for Astronomy and Astrophysics, said in a tweet about the discovery, we found a fast radio burst in a globular cluster. This is definitely not a place where fast radio bursts are expected to live. Just what is going on? This relatively close FRB has been dubbed FRB 20200120E. When we say relatively close, we mean that the FRB is about 40 times closer than the next closest extragalactic signal. It also appears, as previously mentioned, in a clump of incredibly old stars. This is not typically a place in which you would expect to find them. This discovery suggests FRBs can emerge from a wider range of environments than we previously thought. These bursts of light, however, are notoriously difficult to research. The bursts occur briefly, as in less time than the blink of an eye, and tend not to repeat. These two factors illustrate why the fast radio bursts are so hard to predict, trace, and understand. No matter what remains to be found about FRB 20200120E, one thing is certain. This FRB will shake up the scientific community and maybe teach us something new about star interactions in globular clusters. Only time will tell what happens next. 
NASA is launching tardigrades and baby squid into space. On Thursday, the 3rd of June 2021, NASA launched more than 5,000 tardigrade and 100 baby squid on a mission to the International Space Station. Carrying them to their intended destination was SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. Why did NASA want to launch these organisms into space? According to the BBC, the 128 baby bobtailed squid will be used to research how spaceflight affects different interactions between microbes. The bobtailed squid glow in the dark, making it much easier to observe any changes that may occur to their bodies. Along with the squid are approximately 5,000 tardigrades, often called water bears. They were chosen to go with the squid because they are the toughest, most resilient life form on Earth. Without food or water, they have been discovered to survive for up to 30 years. They should have little trouble surviving in the uncertain conditions of space. By conducting this study, NASA hopes to gain a deeper understanding of how stress factors can affect humans in space. Since human beings have evolved to the conditions on Earth, there are many aspects of spaceflight and living in space that can wreak havoc on the body. According to the principal tardigrade investigator, Thomas Boothby of the University of Wyoming, one of the things we are really keen to do is understand how tardigrades are surviving and reproducing in these environments and whether we can learn anything about the tricks that they are using and adapt them to safeguard astronauts. It is Boothby's hope, as well as NASA's, that we can uncover some secrets from studying these creatures that will unlock the key to better space missions and further space exploration. Experiments conducted on these creatures would be difficult to carry out on humans, to say the least. By studying these squid and tardigrades, we can gain a closer understanding of what might happen as people spend more time in space, without the risks that are often associated with carrying out human trials. It is exciting to consider what conclusions will be drawn from these experiments, as well as the impact these studies will have on our seemingly space-bound future. As we learn more, we will gladly share our findings here. It goes almost without saying that unexplained mysteries are some of the most fascinating aspects of our existence. One of the best parts of life is discovering everything you have yet to learn about the universe. But what do you make of these interesting scientific discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.